why companies need to change their hiring lens. I had lunch the other day with an advertising agency owner. I showed him some resumes of potential candidates for a position he'd been trying to fill for a long time. He scanned one with his finger and said that the person had worked for some companies for only a year. He looked at me and said, they move around a lot. He was acting like a client. How can a person so young and be so deeply rooted in the old normal, I thought. I have also heard this agency has a, had a virtual revolving door for a key position. What's good for the goose is clearly not good for the gander, apparently. Instead, I finished my lunch and had a stroll back to my car in the warm California air. At least that pleasure is always egalitarian. The Great Recession led to unprecedented job losses. Many companies act as if nothing happened. You want career longevity in a new normal? Then, then don't fire 10 million people. You think all those people were losers? I know many 28-year-olds that have had four jobs. Do they hop around? Some do for sure. You know why? Because salaries for many people have been kept low because employees don't have a choice but take a 2% salary increase and smile and then go to the company picnic in a park. At the same time, their rents climb by 10% a year. Also in the past, if an agency lost an account, the staffing companies would, would spare junior people. It didn't spare scaring them that bad things could happen at good places. They didn't have a lot of experience with that, but they learned the danger, danger message. No wonder I heard a story on NPR the other day that 34% of young people don't want a job. I got an email the other day from somebody who was let go from their agency after one year client budget cuts. Her LinkedIn profile had it all. Graduate from UCLA, an MBA from UCI, employee of the year at one company, worked both on the agency and client side, plus the social currency of a history of volunteering. She wrote, I moved a lot involuntarily due to lots of mergers and buyouts. Seems like now in her career life, she bears the personal costs of those corporate maneuvers. I wonder if hiring managers at those companies ever think of that. I got call, a call the other day from a friend in Silicon Valley. I met him when he used to work in Southern California. He's been working as a contractor for a number of years. You know the difference up here in Northern California, Hank? No, I asked. Companies don't care how long you worked at places, but what you can do. The companies up here are often startups that flame out and people move on. You only get judged at how good you are at what you get hired for and not your past. That sounded like life in a new normal. Maybe I should have bought some Twitter stock. The hiring lens of many companies is clotted up to the point that many are missing out on opportunity. You can't use the same criteria that you did 10 years ago. 10 years ago, people found jobs in a newspaper. The iPhone didn't exist. The biggest mistake that companies make that don't change the way they hire today is that they're going to miss out on great talent that got caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Maybe they will join your competitors. Maybe those companies will grow and take share away from you. Maybe somebody will tell you that they need to see you in their office at 3 o'clock on a Friday. Maybe after the shock, your attitude will change as you walk a few months or even a year in somebody else's shoes.